Hey guys, let me get a screwdriver. Boom, booyah, hello everybody. Um, good morning and happy Friday. Why is that button not pushing? Good morning and happy Friday. I am Tracy of Tracy's Fancy and I am coming to you live right out of my shop. <clears throat> uh, I am going to stain the top of this end table for a client and I actually had several people ask me on Wednesday night if I would go live when I did it. Um, a lot of people have heard a lot about the no pain gel stain but haven't used it and um, it's really really easy to use it's not a product that I use very often um, I'm not like a wood stain girl I just cover everything up with paint all the time which actually this is for a client she told me I could paint the top of this um, but I really think with the look in her home that it would be better if I stain it it's a very orangey colored factory finish it's a Henry on table it is a beautiful table hi joy hey Brenda oh Brenda's watching hi Sharon so anyway it's a factory finish and uh, but it's just too orangey for her they have a very uh, the wood that they do have is very uh, like coffee bean color so uh, the no pain gel stain by Dixie Belle comes in six colors and uh, they have walnut, cherry, espresso, um, wh uh, white, gray, I think they even have a black, I can't remember, because I don't use it that often. Hello, Miss Amy, hi, Anne-Marie. So, I'm going to use it. Um, all you need, all I did was clean off my top really well. You want to degrease your top, or whatever you're working on, you want to degrease it. So, I did with white lightning and then wiped it back with water and then I use just the sanding sponge right here uh, it's a Dixie Belle sanding sponge you can use any light grit sandpaper and you don't want to scratch it you just want to lightly run this over the top of it I'm gonna be applying it with the applicator pad by Dixie Belle um, these are like a microfiber applicator pads which I use for a lot of different things like I apply my gator hide with that <clears throat> um, I use this to buff over my uh, my transfers um, sometimes I use them on projects to paint with so you do want to use gloves when you use no paint gel stain because um, it's oil based all right let's see Brittany's asking if someone sanded down a table and has some watermarks in the raw wood how do you prep that for the no paint gel stain oh I just bit my cheek <laughs> oh my gosh I have gum in my mouth I never chew gum on a life let me get rid of my gum. Very tacky. Very tacky. Uh, I don't know, Brittany. Honestly, if you... Oh, my butt. Y'all know I hurt my tailbone. Uh, someone sanded down a table and has some watermarks in the raw wood. I don't know. How would you do that? I don't know. Does anyone have an answer for her? I'm not a stainer, you guys. I'm not a stainer, so I don't know. I don't know, and honestly, this table right here has water stains on it that have gone through the factory finish, and I really feel like I should sand the tabletop back, but Becky wasn't really worried about them. So I'm gonna see how it takes the stain. I know it's gonna be, it'll look different than the rest of the factory finish stain because it shows the raw wood underneath there. I'm just gonna see. I think it will be maybe a wood conditioner first. Yeah, maybe maybe oil that, just that area. Maybe put some hemp oil. Oh, but it's on the, I don't know. I really don't know. If you figure it out, if you figure it out, girl, let me know. Okay, so uh, anyway, I'm only going live. I'm not an expert in this. <laughs> I'm only going live because someone asked me, several people asked me to on Wednesday night. So that's why I'm doing it. So I've already prepped, this is the color. It's a gorgeous, dark, dark brown. It does have a smell. Um, you know, one of the reasons I work with Dixie Belle and all of their products is they, you know, there's no fumes, um, but the Gator Hide does a little bit and no pain gel stain definitely has a smell. So you're supposed to use it in a well ventilated area. So it's a, a very um, kind of a, not a little more than pudding. It's definitely like a gel substance. So it's not liquidy. I'm just gonna stick my applicator pad down in there and pull out a, a good amount here. 
and I'm just going to start laying this on. And you want to, I do know, I have, do y'all remember the white cabinet that I did recently for someone? I said I don't like doing white, and I made the inside of it orange. I did do this on the top of that cabinet. The beauty of this is, okay, the reason this is a little bit different than regular wood staining is because we're going over a factory finish. So it's not raw wood. This isn't raw wood. This is a factory finish. And um, that's the beauty of it is that you can do that. You don't have to go to all that trouble to sand it down. You can get just as gorgeous of a finish by doing this. The thing is, you need to do it in really thin coats. So when you do this coat right here, it's very streaky looking, just like my painters. For all my painters, you know that that first coat's really ugly, right? You call it your scratch coat. That's exactly what this coat is as well. You can see through it. It's got lines in it. It's my scratch coat. But I'm gonna build on this coat and my next coat will be the one that, uh, sorry, I had to get quiet because I'm, I'm on those watermarks right there. I did sand them back a little bit around that area. Looks like they're gonna be just, a, they were a lot lighter than the rest of the wood. Now it looks like they're gonna be a little bit darker, but this Henredon table has a lot of imperfections in the wood anyway. It's got kind of like a rustic wood look to it. And, um, <laughs> I think it looks good. So when I photograph this, I will actually do an up close shot of that so that you can see how amazing that just covered that. That looks so good. So I'm gonna just keep wiping back here, not wiping off, I'm very lightly, just from left, from right to left, I'm very lightly covering it. And this will need to dry. Uh, you need three to five days for it to, to fully cure, but it, it'll dry, depending on the humidity and where you are, this will dry pretty quick. So when it's dry to touch, I will come back and start my second coat. I'll do the very same thing. And then after, my, after I get it to the darkness that I want, two coats should do it. But after I get it where I want it, if I feel like I need to add a third coat, I can. Um, and then I'll just let it sit for three to five days after my very last coat. And then I'm going to top it with gator hide. Uh, because Gator Hide has a super durable finish. It's water repellent, and that way they can, um, she doesn't have to worry about more watermarks in the future. But it looks really good already. I want it to be super dark. I want it to be this dark. So I'm gonna give it another coat, um, probably tonight when I get home, because I'm about to leave for the day. So that's it, it was that simple. You, didn't have to, you don't have to sand it back. Um, it just sits right on top of the, the finish. It will adhere itself to it. Uh, the oil base, and that's it. It's that easy. You can do this to beds, entire dressers, entire furniture sets that have that tone, that wood tone look that you just don't like anymore. Or if I wanted to make this table white, like that pickling look, I could have done that. I could have gone right over that wood and done like the white pickled look over it. Or you can mix the colors. You can put several colors on. If you wanna do like a barn wood look, you can do several colors on. You can use the wood graining tool. Like I could, I did that. So the white piece that has orange on the inside, if you look that up on my blog, um, white cabinet, if you go to my blog, tracysfancy.com, um, I put this over it and then I ran the wood graining tool through it over the factory finish. So I let the factory finish come through the wood graining tool pattern and it looked really, really, really good. So that's always an option too. Um, but this is cool. I like, I think she's going to like it. I do. Um, I put the link here. Uh, when the video is over, the link will be at the top that will give you, uh, you can just click and you can try it out. Dixie Bell, I've been getting a lot of questions from people that are like, I canceled my order. My shipping was through the roof. My ship. Okay. You have to order $50 in product. If you order $50 in product, your shipping drops to $10, no matter what it is. If you ordered $400, or whatever, it's $10, $10 flat rate shipping if you order more than $50. So uh, it's good to kind of wait until you need a few things and then put your order in. I, have, I order from a all natural skincare. They do the same thing. They have the same sort of thing. If you're gonna order a, a concealer and a mascara, well, it's not gonna be $50 and I'm gonna pay a lot in shipping. But if I wait until I need $50 worth, then my shipping is controlled. So just wanted to let y'all know that. Don't freak out. Don't think you're just gonna order a can of 
it's not going to be worth it for one can. <laughs> You're going to pay a lot in shipping. So wait until you need a few items or get yourself, you know, the applicator pads and a sanding sponge and this and a thing, a gator hide. That'll, that'll get you there. And then you can get your project done. So, um, thanks, doesn't it? It looks really good. You want me to show you the front of the table as well? Look, see how good that looks with the dark, the light paint and the dark carvings already. Just one coat. So we're going to have that orange. There's still a little orange coming through there. We'll have that completely covered with the espresso color. Um, it's really easy to use for someone, you know, like me who never stains. I'm not a woodworking girl. I hide the wood usually. It does, Anne-Marie, it does, like, I can smell it right now, but it's not like, uh, it's not like shellac or something like where you're just like, whoo. Oh, it gives you an instant headache as soon as you open it. But yeah, I mean, it's oil-based, so you you can smell. You can smell that. Um, uh, Brittany, you know what? Just try it, girl. Just try it. Try it. And then if it doesn't look, then just sand it off. I mean, you already, had, you already sanded it in anyway, or she did. But that, I am so impressed with that, with one coat. So impressed. And those were two big water stains through the factory finish. The factory finish was darker where the water stains was light. And so then when I just put covered it up, now they're darker. The, the water stains, the rings are darker, but you don't even notice them. Like she's, she's going to love it. She'd been hiding that with a plant. <laughs> she had like a pretty plant on top of it. She won't hide it anymore. You can't even see it. And that's just one coat. So, oh, my stomach is growling. I need to go feed my belly. Uh, I just saw you for the first time on your launch post in 18. Do you still do videos for them? Kimberly, I don't. I don't. They asked a lot of us painters. They kind of dove into the paint world, and they asked a lot of us brand ambassadors and people who do live videos regularly to do that for them. And um, so I was like, okay, sure, I'll do that. It was a 30-minute video that they still are using two years later. They use it in the fall because I have long sleeves on. Um, I've never done another project for them. I've asked to. I've told them I would, but they haven't. But they still they still replay that video. And I still get affiliate sales from them. They were great. That was the easiest thing I've ever done. I love the product. I enjoyed doing that. And But they didn't reach back out to me. But... I still see it <laughs> and people still come on comment on it. But see, I got I got new I got new people in my creative world, Kimberly, like you. So um I was happy to do it. Um I think painting's only way when it is deeply through the wood. Diane's saying that that's the only thing to do. I just think you should try to stain it, see how you feel about it, see what she thinks. I think you'll be fine. I do. I this I'm shocked. I'm shocked at how good that looks and I didn't even sand it back. I just rubbed it with that little 220 grit sanding paper. So your, yours will probably turn out great. Uh, hello, Miss Juana. Um, let's see here. Any other questions? Thank you, Crystal. Hi, Sunshine Haley. So Haley's on here right now. We're waiting on a balloon lady to deliver a like 12 foot balloon garland for Harlow's birthday party tomorrow. And I'm transporting it from here out to New Braunfels where they live. Um, Yes, Tammy, I will top coat over it. It is oil based, and I will top coat. I will top coat over it. You don't have to. Um, you could use, but you could. You can use satin. I'm going to use Gator Hide because this is a table that sits between her couch and her love seat. It gets a lot of use, so I'm going to use Gator Hide over the top of it. But you need to wait three to five days bef uh, uh, for the stain to dry before you top coat it. Um, Kimberly, that I heard that all the time. I I did like several times, and they were like, ah, they. Actually, they say, well, you can go live on your page. Sure, we'd love for you to. I was like, no, I like how I wanted, I like how y'all did it. I'm going to do that with y'all. But no, they have their, they have a couple people that they use all the time. So they, but they use my video. <laughs> I think it performs well. Um, General Finish makes an oil and water based pre stain conditioner that helps. Oh, that's good to know. That's good to know. Brittany, maybe did you read that, Brittany? Good morning, Tammy. Uh, but Kimberly, that's what I liked as well. As, and that's what I heard from most everyone, that it was so nice to see someone their own age, you know, someone in their 50s or 60s instead of everybody needing to be 20 something, which is fine. We love our 20 somethings, but we're not 20 something. And it's, it's hard to relate to 
which is why I do these videos all the time about all the things, whether it's decorating my house or what clothes I'm wearing or painting in the garage or my grandkids or whatever, because I, a lot, I want to show people that we that are in our 50s and 60s can do it too. <laughs> we can do all those things too. Uh, she's reading it all good well let us know Brittany let us know teach me I want to know I just looking back there at my my wall it's just so raw it's my staging wall I wonder if it's time for a new staging wall wish I oh me too Tammy me too that see that's right Kimberly I got a lot of new people from that actually I did I never knew that was going to happen and I did. Anyway, I'm going to go eat before this balloon lady gets here. I'm starving. I'm going to go make my no oatmeal with rice cauliflower. <laughs> it's good. I know it sounds horrific, but it's so good. So that's what I'm going to go make right now. I'll see you guys later. Haley and Harlow and Hutton and Trevor, I will see you guys in just a little bit. Love you all. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. We'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye.